North Korea sentences Trump to death, seriously. North Korea state media declared Wednesday that President Trump is hereby sentenced to death by the Korean people for his blasphemy. The declaration was in response to Trump's recent hilarious tweet attacking North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. The death sentence was announced by Ro Dong Sin Mun in an editorial in North Korea's state-run newspaper. The editorial specifically cites four of Trump's blasphemous crimes against the DPRK, adding that President Trump can never be pardoned for them. The worst crime for which he can never be pardoned is that he dared malignantly hurt the dignity of the supreme leadership of the DPRK, he should know that he is just a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people. The editorial went on to state, Trump, will be forced to pay dearly for his blasphemy any moment. The second crime listed was Trump's criticism of the North Korean socialist system. The second on the list of his hideous crimes is that he malignantly hurt the dignified DPRK and Korean-style socialist system. Adding that Trump is a depraved guy for dreaming a pipe dream of spreading venom of corrupt American capitalism. The third crime was that Trump spouted a load of rubbish to paint the black picture of the happy life of the great Korean people. And the fourth crime being that Trump cried out for stifling the DPRK by force of violence. Last week, Trump addressed South Korean leaders, vowing to defend the United States and its allies against North Korean aggression. In his speech, Trump stated that the brutal regime must be isolated by all responsible nations, adding that we will not allow American cities to be threatened with destruction. We will not be intimidated. And we will not let the worst atrocities in history be repeated, in South Korea, on this ground we fought and died so hard to secure. The North Korean UN Ambassador Yaf Song Nam wrote to United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Monday, blaming the United States for the causing the worst ever situation. The letter was issued in response to the United States deploying nuclear war equipment in preparation to strike North Korea in case they attempt to carry out one of their regular nuclear threats. Alana Moss John Gello is a contributor to the Washington Examiner's Beltway Confidential blog. She is a political activist and writer.